Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Dolce Show. Today, we are talking about my favorite subject, your favorite subject, your girlfriend's favorite subject, carbs, baby. Ooh, the tingling in my ears when I hear the word carbs just makes me happy, right? Doesn't the thought of carbs make you happy? The sound of carbs just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, Uncle Mike is going to tell you why carbs are great for fat loss. But Dolce, that makes no sense. All the keto bros say carbs are not good for fat loss. Well, I will clear that up here in a second. Carbs are great for building muscle. Yes, carbs are great for building muscle. All the carnivore bros will tell you that's not true either. But I'll clear that up for you also. And lastly... Carbs are great for living your best life. I mean, come on now. Carbohydrates just make life better. Do they not? I mean, being leaner, being lighter, being stronger and more muscular, if that doesn't make your life better out of the gate, I don't know what to tell you. You're just not optimizing all of your opportunities. So let's now get into the point I want to make and share with you because everything we do here, my friends, is educational. My job is to educate, to inspire, and to entertain you to my limited ability to do so. Hashtag 13-year-old boy humor, which I think some of you do appreciate. Now, when I say carbs are great, let's make it clear. Processed carbs are not great. They're disgusting they make me want to vomit on your shoes. Um, processed foods in general are disgusting and will likely make me vomit on your shoes. So be careful where you walk around me if you have a bag of McDonald's in your hands. When I say carbs are great, I do not mean synthetic toxic chemicals. I do not mean Pop-Tarts and Pixie Sticks and Sour Patch Kids and ice cream and all the other things that may be tasty. They are not part of Uncle Mike's repertoire. That's not what I speak about here. When I speak about carbohydrates, I mean healthy, healthful, whole food sources of high net nutrient quality that provide an array of vital micro and phytonutrition. So... What would be a carbohydrate that Dolce loves? Well, this is not my number one carb. Remember, at the end of the video here in a few minutes, I'm going to tell you my number one carb. I'm going to save that to the end. But I'm going to give you a really good list right now of amazing carbohydrates pretty much every human needs to eat. Now, blueberries. 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 Please, someone explain to me why blueberries are bad for you. Well, if you're a carnivore, you can't eat blueberries. Remember I said I would explain why the carnivores and the keto bros are wrong. If you're a carnivore, you can't eat blueberries. You know why? Because it's not from the animal kingdom. Carnivores, in their limited capacity to create a, a differentiated nutrition philosophy, they cut out some of the most researched nutrient-dense food products on the planet, like a blueberry. Now, if you're a carnivore, you can eat a stick of butter, a block of cheese, and a pound of nitrate-laden pork bacon. That's not a problem, but blueberries are bad for you. Really, guys? Really? That right there, that right there blows the whole carnivore concept out of the water. And then they will start to bend and twist. And Well, I mean, you can have some blueberries. Then you're not a carnivore. You are an MF omnivore. You're an omnivore. If you eat plants, if you eat animals, you're an omnivore. You're not a carnivore. 
if you eat one single blueberry, you are no longer a carnivore. You are an omnivore. Fair, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They can't bend and twist the words out of reality, although they will try. They can't. Now, keto bros. Keto bros, if we're actually, actually trying to attain the metabolic state of ketosis, which is the whole uh, preface behind the ketogenic movement, but most of your famous keto bros and keto bras, is that the term for a keto gal? I don't know. I'll just say keto gal to PC. They will tell you that, well, you can't eat more than 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. Okay. Okay. So I can't have more than 80 calories of carbohydrates per day to attain the true metabolic state of ketosis. Now, remember, a ketogenic diet infers the attainment of ketosis. A ketogenic diet is not a low carbohydrate diet. That's a low carbohydrate diet. That's not a ketogenic diet. And many of the keto bros and the keto bras, I'll say it, that just sounds better. The guys and gals in the ketogenic community, they will then start to twist and turn and morph their poorly thought out, differentiated marketing campaign of keto. And they'll start to allow you a modified ketogenic program. That is simply, simply nothing more than a low carbohydrate, moderate carbohydrate, or cyclical carbohydrate diet. Just like the carnivores who try and pretend to be a carnivore and then realize that diet sucks after a few days or weeks. They're, 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 they're shitting bricks. Like they're trying to like slide a concrete block through a slightly too small sandpaper tunnel. That's how it feels to have a bowel movement as a carnivore. And most of the keto bros and bras, very similar. Yikes, not good. These low net nutrient, low net fiber, highly disordered, exclusionary, restrictive dietary practices, my friends, they make no sense. They make no sense. When I say carbs are great, Hallelujah. Sing it from the mountains. Carbohydrates are great. Blueberries are great. Strawberries are great. Blackberries are great. Grapes are great. Pomegranates are great. Acai, legitimate acai, not the crap you get in the stores or at the little huts, is great. Carrots are great. Butternut squash is great. Oranges and apples and pears and plums and peaches and nectarines, they're great. You know what's also great? Oats and buckwheat and amaranth and lentils and black beans and sweet potatoes and white potatoes and tomatoes. Do I go down the list of all the great carbohydrates that we are aware of that we should be consuming with regularity to optimize our fat loss, to optimize our lean, healthy muscle tissue gain, to optimize our long-term health prospects? I don't need to go down the list, and I'm going to wrap this up here for you, and then I'm going to answer some of your questions. Now, when I say carbs are great, anyone who says that they are not great is a fool or a fraud. One or the other. And they could probably be both. Yeah, they're probably mostly both. Maybe one or the other. They are likely lying to you, so they're a fraud, or they're just too dumb to know any better, so they're a fool. Fool or a fraud is actually, I think... We actually have, I will tell you about that later. Don't worry about that. I'll tell you about that later. Stay tuned to this channel this week. You'll learn more about that. But anyway, carbs are great. Now, you follow our three weeks to shredded program. What do you notice? You're eating carbs all day long. And guess what? You get shredded. Shredded. Three weeks to shredded designed to lose 21 pounds in 21 days. The most effective, healthy meal plan at the highest level of combat sports, our three weeks to shredded program has a 100% success ratio for over 20 years. 
working with the world's greatest athletes. Fact check me. Boom. At the highest levels, your little Google fingers can figure it out. The world's greatest athletes for over 20 years. And I worked with the worst, the worst weight managed athletes in the history of combat sports. And never once did ever any of them ever, ever miss weight. And they all ate carbs. And they tried the keto diet. They tried carnivore diet. They tried all the restrictive diets. And guess what? Didn't work. They didn't work. They didn't work. So you can check out the three weeks of shredded program. You can go to the adultjdiet.com and start your own online personalized three weeks of shredded and or living lean program. Go and check that out if you're interested in just feeling awesome and looking awesome. But those of you that are sitting here with me right now, you agree, right? Everyone nod your head. Carbs are great. Now, what's my favorite carbohydrate and why, before I answer your questions, my favorite carbohydrate, and mind you, there is not one, but I will give you one, is white rice. Oh, <gasps> white rice. Now, white rice is, is not very nutrient dense, but I will explain this in a second. Give me two more minutes. That's what she said. White rice is one of my favorite carbohydrate sources. It's not exactly my favorite, but for this purpose, assuming that we're eating our blueberries, we're eating our butternut squash, we're eating our, our, our beets and our raspberries and, and our, our broccoli and our chard and all the other carbohydrate-dense, high-net nutrient, high-phytonutrient food sources, white rice is amazing. Why is that? Because we as humans, we are glyco glycolytic beings. What does that mean? We thrive in expending stored glycogen as glucose to perform our highest athletic, to perform at our highest athletic capacity. What does this mean? If I want to run, jump, skip, lift, tumble, roll, bounce, heave, I have to have glucose to do this. Now, if you're a keto bra, most of you follow a ketogenic diet, but you are not in ketosis. You are not in ketosis. Most of you who think you're following a ketogenic diet, you're not. You're following a low-carbohydrate diet, and you're actually not in ketosis. So you're just on a low-carb diet, which means you're eating carbs, and you're not even in ketosis. So it doesn't matter anyway. So, yeah, you don't, you don't quite understand any of this. But we need stored glycogen expressed as glucose, once again, to perform athletically at our highest capacity to facilitate the replication of lean muscle tissue. Carbohydrates are muscle sparing slash protein sparing, which means if I'm not consuming ample carbohydrate, my body will then revert to a safety survival mechanism and will actually convert these amino acids into the protein into glucose, a process in the liver known as gluconeogenesis. Little Google fingers, you can figure that out. Fact check everything I say, please. Fact check everything I say here. Fact check that keto bras analogy is that is that what we call the keto chicks out there gals proponents i don't know keto bro definitely but i don't know what do we call the girls um but regardless maybe they're, they could be bro too let, let's let the girls be bros too the bra sounds better um anyway anyway <laughs> um but really though i mean honestly i bang 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 give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the honesty of this content i mean come on who the hell else is honest out there anymore who's honest out there anymore tell me Type them in. Leave them in the comments below. Who else is a honest provider of fitness nutrition? Put them on the list in the comments, not in the chat right now. Not in the chat right now. Put them after this video post. I'm done this video in like two minutes or so. So just who is the most honest? Who are other honest individuals in, in fitness? I want to hear who they are. And then maybe they're not. And if they're not, I might actually make some you know comments and school you. Um, did I, I think I covered it, but why white rice, Jasmine, right? White rice, because white rice is extremely efficient at being digested, being absorbed and being stored. Jasmine white rice is one of our favorites and we eat probably half a cup to man to four cups a day, depending on what you're doing. We eat white rice. We eat white rice while we are losing weight and all the haters out there. Every dang bodybuilder you see on stage, natural or not, spends most of their prep eating white rice and eating oats. How about that? What? 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 Now, what do you got to say? Keto bra? Carnivore? 
right? What do you got to say, low carbers? What do you got to say about that? You got nothing to say about that because you're like, oh, yeah. Uh, and you're going to pull up some stupid study, right? You're going to pull one piece of some stupid study. You're going to throw it at the wall. And it's bullshit because you know you're right. You're just trying to twist yourself into this silly little pocket, right? Carbs are good. Carbs are healthy. Non-processed carbohydrates are good, right? That, that we can agree with blueberries are good, right? Can we all say blueberries are good? Can we start there? Apples are good. An apple a day, you know, whether or not that's true. But, you know, we can kind of say it's true. Sweet potato, right? Even the paleo heads say sweet potato is good for you. So, I mean, God, and then keto was born out of paleo, right? Because you needed to further differentiate that exclusionary restrictive box into something even more exclusionary restrictive. Don't even get me onto the intermittent fasters. I'm going to briefly answer a couple questions here, my friends. And then I got to jump out. So let me try and answer a few questions before I jump out of here. Um, Sonia says, hashtag I eat carbs. Hell yeah. Um, Nick L coach, boom, thumbs up. Great talk today. Nick L. I absolutely love the conversation, brother. I'm so pumped. So pumped to be working with you into the future, my friend. Nick is one of our one-on-one -on -one consultations who has now turned into multiple one-on-one -on -one consultations. And the gains Nick is making, the future gains Nick will be making. Ooh, Nick. <laughs> Preemptive. Clap right there. I cannot wait to see what this spring looks like, my brother. I'm pumped up. Um, love the breakfast bowl. Darren says, had it for three years. Every morning for three years. My man, my man. Uh, Jason Solis, good to hear this awesome advice. Thank you, Jason. The most honest man in YouTube fitness is sitting right here. With you. Wearing a BB King t-shirt. What? In concert. One of his last ever concerts. Yep, 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 yep. Keep that up because I probably got the, the, the sweat ring in, in this shirt, which is why I got the jacket on right now. Because, you know, light gray is not very favorable when it's hot outside. 72 degrees here. Um, Jesse Lee. Hoos, what's up, Jesse Lee? Mike Mumford, F you. Great info. Thank you, Ray. Uh, what up, Dolce? Jason Solis, 13-year-old boy humor, of course. Right? Come on now. I never, I never, I never emotionally exceeded the 13 year old version of me. And that's okay. That's okay. Cause I already had a blue collar work ethic beat into my skull since I was eight years old. And everything else is good. And I do say please and thank you when I hold doors for old ladies. I hold doors for everyone. And I always am, am very polite. So I can keep a 13 year old boy humor. Alexa, F you, Mike, what's your favorite carb source? Um, I, it, it's a list. Man, jasmine white rice is awesome. Blueberries are awesome. Oats are awesome. Quinoa amaranth is awesome. Lentils are awesome. Black beans, chickpeas, awesome. Butternut squash, awesome. I could go on and on and on. Wide variety of healthful whole foods. Sound familiar? RGB, you're doing this for us. You're so selfless and helpful. I appreciate you, RGB. I'm here for you guys. Bang, bang, bang. Just give me a little thumbs up in return, my friends. That's all. That's all I ask for. A little thumbs up, a little engagement. It helps the YouTube overlords know that we are here and you guys are engaged and appreciate the content. Maybe one day they'll start to recommend our videos. Who knows? MMA says do more videos about MMA. I got one coming up tomorrow about MMA. So you got that. Jesse Lee. Thoughts on grapeseed oil? Is this process too excessive? It is. We actually moved away from grapeseed oil about 10, 15 years ago, and we focus on avocado oil or suggest avocado oil. In any recipe we once uh, suggested grapeseed, we do recommend avocado oil now. Um, Jesse says, I love that you completely destroy these terrible fad diets with simple tiny bits of information that completely shatters their crappy information. Dolce is the most honest man in fitness, period. Boom. Jesse Lee, I appreciate that. And I'm actually going to screenshot that nice little post right there. I appreciate you. And it's true, right? I can like carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. Everyone's like, oh, carnivore is great. Carnivore is great. Carnivore is great. What about blueberries? And they're like, oh, powering down, <laughs> right? And they just pull up some stupid argument from someone's study that has nothing to do with the topic they're talking about. And they're like, yeah, so there. Like, dude, you have, you're, you're, sit down. Just sit down. Here's a little sippy cup. Just sit down and listen, okay? You just sit down and listen, listen to the adults talk over here. It's so funny, man. And some, a lot of these people are my peers. I'm like, dude, I know you're smarter than that. I've been out to eat with you. 
You're the dude who ordered the burger with the with the, with the goddamn sandwich like like loaf of of bread and an extra pile of French fries. Like my meal was more keto than yours. How are you a keto expert? Like how how does that work? Do you drink beer all the freaking time, like four nights a week? How are you a keto expert? You're not in ketosis, man. Like I know it. You you're bull. You're full of it. But I like, which is why I can come on here and have some fun and, and talk the way that I do. I got no, I got nothing to hide. Blueberries. Their whole arguments like powering down. Right. Fucking crazy shit. Uh, Sonya says a grizzly bear will eat blueberries every chance they get. If it's good enough for grizzly bears, it's good enough for me. Exactly. Exactly. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, Darren Mills, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly. Amen. Craig M finally caught a live chat. Welcome, Greg M. Good to see you guys. Make sure, my friends, you subscribe to this channel. Click that little notification bell right now like this. Ding! Click that so when I do go live, you get notified. It doesn't bother you. It just says, hey, the most honest man in fitness is live right now. And you can actually get your question answered for free. For free, right? How cool is that? Um, and then click the little thumbs up while you're down there. Mine as well. Um, thoughts on drinking diet soda. I think that's disgusting. And I think that's ridiculous. And I think I would never do that. And more so, I would never allow my children to do so. I would never poison my children intentionally. And now that you've heard me say that you are on the hook because you're like, oh, damn, Dolce's right. Diet soda is actually poison. Why would I poison my own child and facilitate this environment of bad habits for them to live their entire life? This makes no sense. Have you ever seen a healthy, fit person drinking diet soda? No, you haven't. You've seen all these morbidly obese, horribly unhealthy people drinking diet soda, acting as if it's healthy. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be meaner than I just was. So let's move on. Um, Omar, what up, coach? Hope all is well. Omar, life is great. Mike Mumford, bros, male, bras, female. That's what I'm saying. B-R-A-H, yes, bras. With, we'll put the H on there. It's not an undergarment after all. Um, carbs, thumbs up. Archie, do you consume alcohol? No, I do not. How do I reduce, re reduce water weight? Archie, I would go to the Dolce diet.com right now. And I would start our four week, three weeks to shredded personalized online weight loss program. It is the most effective, healthy weight loss program ever devised, proven 100% successful at the highest level of combat sports for over 20 years. There are 20 plus years of history of the three weeks to shredded program working in real time. No BS, real humans competing at the top of their sport with like the whole media covering it and journalists writing about it, right? 100% successful. Imagine how easy that is. It's literally a treasure map to the body you want. Go to the dolcediet.com right now and get started. It is awesome. Why would you not? I don't understand. Why would you not? Why would you not? Um... Paul Pascal, I pretty much consume carbs as needed, changes from day to day, and what I'm planning to do that day. Bingo, that's the Dolce Principles. Good for you, Paul. Archie, I just ate a cookie and I feel really fat and guilty. What should I do? I would flush down. Me personally, I drink a lot of water. I would let go of that guilt because that was in the past. Now, moving forward, you've learned from that poor decision. You are no longer going to make poor decisions anymore because now you are intentional with your actions. You are mindful of the outcome. You now know that if you eat a cookie, it will make you feel ill. You will feel bad about yourself. You will be ridden with guilt because you understand you have not earned the opportunity to eat a single cookie without having guilt. I can eat a cookie if I want to without guilt. I don't want to because it makes my tummy hurt. I don't like the way I feel if I eat a cookie. It's like, hey, let me put a cookie in the gas tank of my car. Guess what? My car will malfunction. Why on earth do we humans think we, a much more sophisticated machine, to use that term, why would we not malfunction? Simply because we've gotten used to being disordered? Simply because we've gotten used to dysfunctioning because our parents poisoned us literally from before we were born? Right? Right? 
So we've adapted to survive in that environment of being constantly poisoned. But many people will actually develop blood sugar disorders, which could be a version of diabetes, to which there are a few. They could develop certain forms of cancer, which are directly associated with processed sugars as you will be consuming from this cookie maybe some sort of metabolic condition is produced from eating this cookie because it's never just one cookie it's not just one cookie it is the habitual consumption of thousands of cookies think about it right now my friends think about this everyone listen Let's everyone circle around the campfire here. Uncle Mike's got a spooky story. There once was a little boy who wanted to eat one cookie and all of the other enabled, entitled little fools said, you can just eat one cookie. It's only one cookie. Everyone can eat one cookie. Just live your life. Eat one cookie. You're beautiful just the way you are. Eat that one cookie. So the little boy ate the one cookie. But as they were chewing on the one cookie, they realized this cookie just doesn't taste that good. This cookie actually kind of makes me feel sick. You know what? I actually ate a cookie last night and the night before. And I actually ate a whole sleeve of cookies the week before. And this is the third box of cookies we've bought this month. And if I calculated how many just one cookies I've eaten over the last one, two, three, four, five decades... I've eaten thousands and thousands of cookies. All this time, I've been lying to myself. All this time, I've been enabled by all these people who are also lying to themselves. Hmm. Maybe now I've learned my lesson. Maybe now I will become more intentional with my actions and I will be more mindful of the outcome of these actions. I will now set a new standard for myself in which I will start to progress through my life and I will leave that old version of me behind and I will now grow and evolve into a better version of myself who actually does have more fun, who actually does live a much more rewarding, engaging lifestyle, who can now make decisions for themselves in their own time and not care what anybody has to say, especially when the people giving you advice are less healthy than you. That's a spooky story, isn't it? My daughters love everything we do. They want me to tell them. They want me to turn everything into a spooky story. So today I told them the spooky story about the two girls who were walking to school very slow. So slow. All the monsters were able to chase them and catch them. So guess what? We got to school faster than we've ever gotten. And, and <laughs> daddy could actually go and grab a cup of coffee. How about that? How about that? I am a master storyteller. And there's always there's always a lesson at the end, just just like uh, um, any any good fairy tale. Right. Hansel and Gretel, uh, Little Red Wide Riding Hood, Rapunzel and such. And uh, you have Uncle Mike here. So I hope you appreciated the cookie story. It's never just one cookie, my friend. Now we move forward. Um, Matt Mungian, first time getting a live recommendation in a while. If you're doing something different, I guess it's working. Our channel is growing. Our channel is growing simply because you great people are engaged. So everyone watching right now, I would simply request clicking the thumbs up button. Bang, bang, bang. Give the video a quick thumbs up. If you're inclined to do so, I do appreciate that. And I can actually see that. And it means a lot. And bang, I just saw we got at least one that just went up. Um, also click subscribe, click the notification button. So, you know, when these videos come out, I'm always happy to answer all your questions. I got another minute or so before I have to jump off. Um, what do we got? Solomon says cookie equals fatty sugar processed garbage. That's fair enough. I agree with you, Solomon. Um, 
Archie B says thoughts on dirty bulking. Dirty bulking is, is the way of the nineties. We are clean, lean bulkers. Now, Robert Thompson does black strap molasses have a place in your diet. 16 grams of sugar during my workout gives me energy. Yeah. I throw, I could throw a little molasses, a little organic make bowl syrup, a little bit of raw organic honey. I could drop a little bit of that. And should I take electrolyte supplements? I don't see why not. Not if you're eating adequate salt, um, adequate sugar in your life, ad adequate um, calcium, ad adequate magnesium from helpful whole foods. If you need to supplement, usually you have a, a, um, a deficiency in your nutrition intake. Um, Zach C says, Delauer promotes fasted cyclical keto carnivore and Lane Norton promotes Pop-Tart fitness. Both sellouts, but Lane does have a smoking hot Australian old lady that he cheated on his wife with. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, it, it's funny that I never thought I would say this, but it, that means, well, I mean, I, I'd much rather be friends with Tom DeLauer. <laughs> you got to say that. Although Tom's content is is worse, worse than than the the other dude whose name dare we not say. All right, um, but I understand. Yeah, what? So he 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 cheated on his wife and kids or pregnant wife or whatever that story. I forget what that story is now um, with some, some fitness model, right? Is that, that's the story out there. If anybody knows that, feel free to fill me in. I, I actually forgot about that till you just said it. What a fucking dork. Um, what a, I got, wor I got worse words, but I won't use it. Let's just keep it moving. Um, Hin Young says at least one gallon. All right, um, Jeff says, how much protein should a five, nine, one, six, two pound get? a day and is it okay to drink protein shakes protein can be okay but only if it's necessary like are you really 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 pushing um that you deserve that you need supplemental protein maybe you are but if you're 162 pounds eh, five nine i don't know your level of leanness you should probably be getting in a minimum of 0 0.8 grams of protein per pound of relatively lean body mass which probably means for you somewhere if you're 160 um I don't know, 180, like, I don't know, maybe like starting around 100. I'd probably start around 120 grams, but I don't know. I don't know your background. I don't know, I know your age. I don't know your activity level. I don't know what your goals are. But in general, probably somewhere about 120 grams in general. Um, Lee Wright says, always good information, Dolce. The only man I trust for my health. Right on. Craig, and my business requires eight to 12 hours a day of intense labor. I've only been to the gym twice in the last two weeks because of this. Any advice? Yeah, you could take 10 to 12 minutes and crack out an awesome squat workout. You could probably get that done. And then the next day, maybe you do like 10 to 12 minutes of an awesome squat workout. Two, three sets is all you need. And then later on in the day, crack out another, I don't know, like a walking lunge or, or a Bulgarian split squat. The next day you look for like, you know, how many push-ups can you bang out in 10 minutes? How many overhead presses can you do with whatever implements you have around? How many chin-ups can you do the very next day? How many bent over rows with like a, 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 a gallon bucket or something? That's what I would, and I'm in those situations a lot in life also, man, I, I, I I, I say like, all right, what's the, what's the, what building can I, um, am I, what hotel am I in? Put me on the highest floor, but give me the penthouse, baby. Not because I like to live lush, which maybe I actually do, but because I want to be walking up and down this down, down those stairs. Everyone knows I never take the elevator unless I got to like bring the groceries up and all the stuff. Like I'm not, you know, an inefficient idiot. I'm very efficient, but I'll take the stairs. I don't care. 10, 20, 30, some on floors. I don't care how I'll love. I love that. And I'll leave. 10, 20, 45 minutes early. We were, we were in Brazil. I forget. That was a huge, huge, huge building. I'd leave like 30 minutes before I had to be downstairs in the lobby. And it was awesome. I was, my legs were yoked. Um, Rodney, what's up, Rodney? Good to see you, my friend. Been a while. Uh, what's up, buddy? Greetings from rainy South Florida. Loved all the videos. Which grass-fed whey isolate would you recommend? Well, I would recommend the Dolce Whey Pro, our grass-fed, cold-processed, cross-flow, micro-filtered whey protein isolate that is just about to hit the market. We're waiting on that final release date, COVID slowed, manufacturing, distribution, all this stuff. So we're not going to give you the wrong date. Just know it's coming very soon. Rodney, I would look for a cross-flow, micro-filtered, grass-fed, cold-processed whey protein isolate. You probably only need to get one tub before ours is in market, so keep your ears open. Um, also, guys and gals, 
bang, bang, bang. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I certainly greatly appreciate it. I ask a few times during these videos because I see we get hundreds, if not thousands of people viewing. And, you know, we get a decent amount of thumbs up. But my friends in YouTube say you got to ask the people. You got to ask them. And uh, and some of only the really cool people, uh, I'm just kidding, you're all cool for being here, uh, will give you the thumbs up. I appreciate that. That simply lets me know you're there and you're engaged with the content. That's number one, most important. Number two, it will hopefully eventually let the YouTube overlords know that you appreciate this content, you're engaged with it, and maybe they'll start to recommend it to other people. Rodney says, awesome. Definitely been a while, my man. Looking forward to the release. Bang, bang, brother. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll hear about it soon. You know me. You'll hear about it soon. Um, what else we got? And still, Archie says, I ate McDonald's four weeks ago. It still real feel really bad. What should I do? I go to the doctor. I go to your doctor and get checked out. Um, Ma Miguel says, thoughts about Matthew Walker recommending not drinking coffee 14 hours before bed due to the negative effect effects on sleep. Oh, that, yeah, that could work. For some people, not so much for me, but some people for sure. Some people maybe don't drink coffee at all. Um, all right, guys and gals, I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you for being here. Remember, go to thedolcediet.com. We have over 1,200 articles and fitness tips and recipes and life hacks and all the fun stuff, workouts. Also, you can join our online weight loss program, the Three Weeks to Shredded Plan or the Living Lean Program. This is personalized online diet and exercise instruction for the individual, which is awesome. It's a whole membership platform. You, you're inside your own dashboard. It's on your mobile phone, on your tablet, on the laptop. Everywhere you go, you know exactly what to eat based upon your background, based upon your goals, based upon your dietary preferences. It's that specific to you. Every gram, every ounce, every teaspoon is perf is is. is curated for you also every workout every set every rep with video instruction if you need that training journals a whole resource database a leaderboard to see where you fit with other people around the world um you know how's your weight loss compared to theirs and all that fun stuff ours is the number one rated online weight loss platform bdolcediet.com definitely go and check it out right now if you like this content you'll love that uh last thing is who is the honest, who are the honest fitness people out there? Give me a list of the honest, honest, honest fitness people or the ones that you think are honest fitness people. I'd love to hear who you think is honest. I might actually have inside information to tell you differently. Outside of that, my friends, I appreciate you all for being here until next time. Boom.